Reporting on July 26, 2023, according to IBM's latest annual report, the cost of data breaches has surged to a new high, with organizations paying an average of $4.5 million to handle breaches, marking a 15% increase over the past three years. The report analyzed breaches in 553 organizations across 16 countries from March 2022 to March 2023. The major expenses in dealing with a breach include hiring a company for investigation, costing $1.6 million on average, and the cost of lost business, post-breach response, and notification, reduced to $1.3 million in 2023. Businesses often pass these costs on to consumers by raising prices, as reported by 60% of respondents. The healthcare industry faces the highest average breach cost at $10.9 million, followed by financial, pharmaceuticals, energy, and industrial sectors. Customer and employee information is the most expensive data to compromise, costing organizations $183 per record. Ransomware attacks were costly, averaging $5.2 million in 2023, with 25% of breaches involving ransomware. Organizations using threat intelligence and incident response tools saw faster breach identification. Regulation influenced breach-related costs timing, with high data regulation environments facing peak costs over two years after a breach. Involving law enforcement led to cost and time savings for ransomware breaches. In recent data breaches, global law firm Oric, Harrington & Sutcliffe suffered a breach involving over 40,000 individuals' data related to a vision benefits plan. EHR management provider Delaware HealthNet also disclosed a breach affecting patient data at Henrietta Johnson Medical Center. Montana-based Partnership Health Center sent surveys to wrong email addresses, exposing 8,000 individuals' names and service information. Indiana's South Suburban Surgical Suites experienced a phishing attack, impacting 5,300 patients' sensitive data. These breaches highlight the importance of robust cybersecurity measures and prompt action to protect personal information and prevent unauthorized access. A recent report by the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency CISA, reveals that over 50% of cyber attacks on government agencies, critical infrastructure organizations, and state-level bodies involved the use of valid accounts. CISA conducted 121 Risk and Vulnerability Assessments RVS, in collaboration with the U.S. Coast Guard to test organizations' defense against sophisticated attacks. The report emphasizes that threat actors often resort to common methods like phishing and exploiting default credentials. Notably, 54% of successful attacks used valid credentials. The study also highlighted the prevalence of spear phishing, where attackers pretend to be trusted sources to gain access. CISA provided the assessed entities with observations and recommended actions to enhance cybersecurity. These measures include implementing secure password policies, blocking malicious emails, conducting phishing awareness programs, maintaining up-to-date software, and adopting multi-factor authentication. While organizations are making progress in their cybersecurity efforts, resource limitations remain a challenge. CISA and USCG aim to expand RVAs to help more organizations defend against cyber threats effectively.